Alright guys, so we are now going to the Supercharger um, it's in Buffalo, New York and this is our Supercharger in Buffalo, New York so here's the key bank over there and then you can see all these Superchargers here so I'm going to charge my car at this Supercharger and there's one Model X here charging right now so I'm going to charge let me see there is only one car here so I hope it won't take that long and let's go Open this part, and this is supercharger in Buffalo, New York. And let's see if charging is working. As you can see, charging has started. All right, okay, so charging has started, and you can see it's, uh, it's giving at least uh, 550 miles per hour, and that's pretty good. I already got 13 plus miles on the charging, and this is a good location. So if you, I'll show you from outside. So these are charging stations here in Buffalo. And it's uh, in the winter, mostly it's 6.49 p.m. now. In winter, you will see most of the time they have uh, uh, pretty much just empty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of them are working here in a working condition and they're all good. And let me just put this back. <coughs> yeah, so you can see that this is so now there is Barnes and Noble bookseller it's a big store there is a Starbucks inside if you are stopping by here in Buffalo New York this is the best place nearest by you can go for um you can go for <coughs> sorry for washroom there there's a key bank here across the road there are a couple um car dealerships and there is uh, on the left side there is a mall and a couple shops on the left side and here you can see the petco if you are if you are with your pet and you need to buy something, it's very close by, literally two minutes walking distance. And then they have um, nearest oh, one, two, and three different uh, restaurants, so you can easily uh, you can go there by walk. There's Office Depot there, Sketches Outlet there. There's a uh, m and bank right over there. And there is a gas station on the left side. So if you need to get something from there, 
convenience store you can definitely use that one and as you can see I'm just going Barnes and Noble so I can use the restroom there and it's the best buy uh, the next building is best buy if you need something from there everything is pretty much two minutes drive um, by walk actually and meanwhile I'll be back I'll have at least 100 plus miles on my car that's the beautiful thing and this is the Barnes and Noble <coughs> you can see and so my phone is telling me I got 116 miles now and I guess I do need at least 150 for my trip so this is the location I'm showing you and very nice so once it's 150 I'm going to get um, so heading on the road so this is the Barnes and Noble as you can see and then 120 so it might will take me two minutes to go back meanwhile I guess other um, car will be enough charged to go and come back so that's this as you can see they have um, um, they have this Starbucks inside and that's the Starbucks and you can see the couple of people are working on their computers very nice place to eat and drink whatever and yeah. so this is the place where you can come if you are in Buffalo New York to to charge your car and then there are a couple different places nearby where you can easily easily spend five ten minutes while your car gets charged and <coughs> I'm sorry not feeling good from last two three days the weather was not good and I was sick a little bit and today we have warning for a snowstorm so I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get uh, a little bit more charge so I can be on safe side before I come home I should have enough charging then I'll put my car on charge at home this is Buffalo New York very cold weather here um, you can see this snow pile and all right let's see what my phone says it says 138 miles so once 150 miles I'm going to uh, take off this supercharger cable and I'm just going and I'll be back within two hours I guess I should have enough charge to come back in Buffalo so we are back here at supercharger in Buffalo New York here you go all right it's so inside it gets very cold out there now you can see it says 143 miles I came here on maybe 36 mile so within a couple minutes maybe seven eight minutes I have 145 miles another Model X is here 
so for charging you can see um, and all right so we are ready to go now and there is one more thing which is very I, I just uh, realized uh, when I charge this car at home it does not make that long um, noise when I'm charging but I guess over here at supercharger uh, you'll hear a uh, noise like loud noise while you're charging your car so don't worry about it because they have uh, these superchargers are way powerful than your home outlet so that's why so let's see uh, let me get my direction where I'm going to and let's see Twelve Water Street, Forest Wall, New York. So now you can see <coughs> it's showing me. So it's uh, fifty miles to go, one hour drive, fifty miles to come back. I have one hundred fifty-three miles, so I guess pretty much I have good my range when I'll come back I'll still have at least 40 45 miles because of uh, weather um, we use uh, we use these um, car heat um, heating seats and all those stuff <coughs> so if you are using heating then definitely you can <coughs> <laughs> if you are using heating then definitely you're gonna lose a little bit maybe 10 15 20 miles on your range don't worry about that just get an extra charge so you can be home on extra charge uh, one more thing when I was driving today in city uh, there was um, I was on city speed limit was 30 miles per hour and I was driving 30 miles per hour and all of a sudden uh, my car went uh, I had a double dotted uh, solid yellow lines on the left side it was on autopilot and as I reached to the um, intersection <coughs> my car just went to the other side of the road towards the upcoming traffic uh, luckily no one was coming from that side and i had my hand on on the steering wheel but i was it was just i was not holding tightly so i had to just get uh, i had to get a control right away I just figured out that sometimes the these uh, sensors and the cameras artificial intelligence is not going to work like it should so if you are if you are <coughs> relying 100% uh, if you are relying 100% on the artificial intelligence you might will get um, uh, encountered with um, any accident so you always have to be careful while you're driving always keep keep an eye on your uh, surroundings and keep and keep your hand on the steering wheel that's that's the best thing for the safety so as the time is passing by they are improving the software there will be more improvements in a couple years but meanwhile you do enjoy uh, the car whatever the best is coming with the car but you have to make sure that you're always paying attention while you're driving uh, that's that's for your safety that's for the safety of the people who are on the road with us so <coughs> another thing is um, uh, 
in the winter the my main concern was for the winter season so it's not too bad like if you are driving in this winter season it's model 3 2020 long range dual motor and maybe i'm losing 30 or 40 miles that that's all um because because it's uh it's not like cold it's very cold weather here like minus 20 minus 30 in, in that kind of weather uh, the car handles perfectly fine um, it's uh, it runs good even in the snow you do not feel that car has um, some issues or maybe you can't drive in the snow because uh, of electric car I don't know if it's the power is gonna pick it up or not but I'll let you know I was driving a couple days ago uh, in a st snowstorm and it was very bad snowstorm I could not make a video at that time because um, um, it was very bad and I was by myself so if there was someone else uh, with me in the car I, I might would be able to make a video for you guys but in that snowstorm I was trying to help someone so um, there was an accident on the road and um, uh, one lady she was coming from Toronto Ontario and I, I, I just tried to help her because she didn't know where she was going to she didn't have uh, GPS signals uh, in this area so I was helping her so I was driving and she was driving behind my car and all of a sudden there was a one hill and because of lot of snow it was very difficult to reach on the hill and um, luckily I made it and then I just saw another guy he was coming so I asked him he said yeah the lady she is stuck down there so I just turned my car back I was just thinking to two three times I just thought maybe I'm gonna stuck there too but I just came back help her out push her car and then uh, she made it uh, another guy he came um, he, so we both uh, pushed her car she made it she went through and now the road was very close and on the both sides there was ditch and I didn't know that uh, how far I can go on the back and I and maybe I can turn my car uh, or not and there all of a sudden all the people were coming on the same road and like 20 30 different cars and um, I tried to back uh, drive on my Model 3 <coughs> I have all wheel tires uh, it's not snow tires either so but it's dual motor um, all wheel drive long range so believe me it's it's an amazing car the people had very hard time to go straight up on the hill and I drove backward on the hill and I the car did not even know that if I'm pushing on the limit so it was it was very smooth all the way up and I just turned my car on the hill and um, continued my uh, journey again so I'm 